BBC Look North has discovered that radioactive waste could be stored underneath part of Lincolnshire. The government is in talks with the county council over developing a disused gas terminal at Theddlethorpe on the coast, where vast amounts of the country's nuclear waste could be buried deep underground. The plans are likely to be highly controversial but would involve billions of pounds and hundreds of jobs. Our political editor Tim Ardale has the story. It's part of our everyday lives with a fifth of our electricity coming from nuclear. With nuclear power comes nuclear waste and the question of what to do with it remains a dilemma. At present, radioactive waste is stored above ground at more than 20 sites across the UK, including Sellafield in Cumbria. But some experts believe the solution is putting it deep underground in what's called a Geological Disposal Facility, or GDF. That's the approach taken by other countries, including Finland, which built this repository hundreds of metres beneath solid rock. Sea Gem stands on the seabed 40-odd miles off the Humber coast. One site being looked at is the former Theddlethorpe gas terminal just north of Mablethorpe, although it was news today to the chairman of the local parish council. Knowing my local community, they would be incredibly shocked to hear this information tonight if it's broadcast on Look North. My initial reaction would, would be one of concern. Not necessarily about the waste itself, but the fact that we seem to have a lack of detail locally to be able to determine whether or not the site would be suitable or not for that application. I've been talking to a government-backed company called Radioactive Waste Management, who are in early discussions with Lincolnshire County Council, as well as some other areas, including Cumbria. They've talked about setting up a working group, and no decisions have been taken at this stage, but many local politicians want to know more. The reality is there are potentially many benefits, but there are also, obviously, it's a very controversial idea. So we need to have all that information so that our residents can really make an informed decision. You know, there's, there's massive national infrastructure issues here, you know, flood defence, communications, rail links and all the rest of it. So that has to be carefully considered. Special trains will carry the packaged waste in secured transport containers to the site, ready for safe disposal. It would be a huge project, potentially creating thousands of jobs. But opinion will be divided between those who believe it could spark new energy into Lincolnshire's economy and those who believe it's toxic. Tim Iredale, BBC Look North. Dr Claire Corkhill is an expert on nuclear waste and advises the government on how to dispose of it safely. Dr Corkhill, everybody will want to know, you're the expert, is this safe? Quite simply, we will not be able to build the facility unless we can prove that it will be safe. The environmental regulators will only grant a permit once we've proven that to be the case. But this is going to be the first one in the UK. So Lincolnshire, Lincolnshire is going to be a guinea pig. So we have managed radioactive waste for 70 years in the UK and we have other near surface disposal facilities. So this is really an extension of that kind of technology. It will be new, um, there's no doubt about that, but we will be confident that we're going to be able to do it safely before anything gets started. And this radioactive waste is stored somewhere at the moment. Why can't it stay there? Why does it have to be dug underground? It will be radioactive for 100,000 years and we can't guarantee that the people required to look after that waste uh, will, will be around. We can't guarantee the political climate. So the safest thing to do is to isolate it from future populations and the environment deep underground. There's going to be a referendum of local people. I, I accept that there's going to be jobs uh, and, and everything coming to the area, but do you really think people are going to vote for this? I think it's a, it's a real unique opportunity to... Um, support future generations by cleaning up the waste that we've left behind. Now, there will be jobs, there are incentives, um, and I think communities those should really seriously those, yes, look those, at those this. Those financial incentives, uh, they're bribes, aren't they? Um, well, it's not a bribe because the money will be given up until the point of the referendum. And if at the referendum the local communities say no, then they still get to keep the money. Hypothetically, if you lived in, uh, you probably don't know the place names, but Mablethorpe, Strubby, somewhere like that, would you, and the referendum came along, you lived there, would you vote yes or no? I would vote yes. And in one sentence, why? 
because I'm interested in cleaning up the legacy of the radioactive waste that we have currently in the UK. And if we don't do something about it now, our grandchildren and grandchildren's grandchildren will still be looking after it. Now is the right time to try and do something about this waste. We'll see what people think. Dr Corkill, very good to have you on the programme tonight. Thank you very much indeed. One thing you can be sure of, uh, Lincolnshire is going to be talking about this tonight. So the question is, should nuclear waste be buried under the county? Would you want it under your town or village? Maybe you ne live near one of those places that I just mentioned when I was talking to Dr Cork Corkill. Well, the experts say it's safe. Is that good enough? It'll bring jobs. Uh, but how about a referendum? How would that end? Nuclear waste under Lincolnshire, yes, if it's safe and brings jobs or no. Your views, we'll have some before we finish at seven. The email address is there. Text number 81333. Start the text with the word look north or follow me on Twitter and you can tweet now on that one. I look forward to uh, getting your comments. Now, a big response coming in on the subject of whether uh, nuclear waste should be uh, buried in uh, Lincolnshire. Sue says, I live in Lincolnshire and I'm concerned about this issue. Theddlethorpe will be underwater in around 50 years. It's been predicted. Uh, Nolan says, uh, a far more suitable place to put it instead of Lincolnshire, just in case there happened to be a leak. That Surely the basement of the Palace of Westminster is more suitable. Richard says, according to climate change experts, Lincolnshire is likely to be flooded in the next 50 years or so. Separate saying that. And finally, Jeff says the waste exists because we benefit from power generated by the nuclear process. And so it needs to be disposed of. So forget NIMBYs, not in my backyard, people. And forget politics, says Jeff. Thank you for those and thank you for watching.